we then go back into config mode and enter the VLAN interface that we would like to make routable. So we go to interface VLAN 2 and then we assign an IP address to this VLAN. So the VLAN interface gets an IP address of Ten zero zero one. I type no shutdown. And exit. I'm going to do the same for VLAN three. And assign an IP address to make this VLAN routable. However, since VLAN 3 is in another segment, I'm going to assign an IP address in, an in another segment. So I'm going to use 10.1. And finally, we exit. So what I've done, I've given the virtual, I've given the VLAN interface an IP address of 10.0.0.1 for VLAN 2 and for VLAN 3, the interface, the virtual interface is 10.1.0.1. So what I need to do now is change the default gateways on the respective computers in each of these VLANs to point to their respective gateway. So for instance, on computer C, I'm going to change the IP address default gateway and also the IP address to belong to that particular subnet. This will be on a 10.1 subnet and the gateway will be 10.1.0.1. Keep in mind that this is computer C. And on computer B, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to change this to 10.1 and then the gateway will be 10.1.0.1 and then finally on computer A I'm going to leave it in its present subnet but change the default gateway to point to 10.0.0.1 which is the IP of the VLAN interface for VLAN number 2, the user VLAN. So let's see if computer C can ping computer B. And yes, we can. Can it ping the default gateway, which is the VLAN interface? Yes, it can. Let's verify that compute computer B can also ping the default gateway. Yes, it can. And finally, let's see if computer A can ping its default gateway. And it does. Now for the real test, let's see if computers can ping across to the other VLAN. So on computer A, I'm going to attempt to ping computer computer B. So let's see if computer A can ping computer B. No, it can't. And vice versa. Let's see if computer B can ping computer A. No, it can't. 
so apparently computers still cannot ping across their VLANs. Computer A can't ping across to VLAN 3 and computer B can't ping across to VLAN 2. This is because there's one final step that we need to enable on our switch for this to happen. If you go back to the switch config, we need to, en we need to enter a very important command called IP routing. And now let's try back the pings again. And there we go, we now start to get replies. So computer B can ping computer A now. So can computer A ping computer C? Yes it can. And it can also ping computer B. So this concludes our topic on creating VLANs. We've created VLANs and we've also enabled inter VLAN routing. In the next tutorial we're going to demonstrate how to enable access lists between VLANs.